It's so cold. Feels like winter has come. Welcome back everybody to the Gaming Tech Raider. Today I'm bringing a little bit of a different video. It's not a game video and it's not Anthem. Today is the start of season 8 premiere for Game of Thrones. And unfortunately, it's the final season. So it's a little bittersweet. But I am excited though because it's been a long time. It's been 8 years, 9 years, because they skipped last year for filming. 8 seasons spanning a long time. And I'm excited for it to come back. Um, there's a lot going on with it where <laughs> the, the way last season ended between between Viserion uh, getting killed by the Night King coming back that that one hurt watching him get, get struck like that with that ice like javelin and then getting pulled out of the lake from all the the, the rites and the undead and all of a sudden he has that that really blue eye that was so hard to see him come back like that but also there's a lot of other things going on from last season and a whole lot of speculation because there's been a whole extra year theories and everything going on about the season. So as much as I'm excited to see it start up and very excited I made it through today to get to it, I'm still a little sad to see it end. One of the biggest things I'm sure everybody's looking forward to though <laughs> is definitely the Clay Game Bowl because there was a lot of talk that the two of them would fight. We have Sendor Clegane, the Hound, a man who loves his chickens, versus Sir Gregor, is he still called Sir Gregor? He's the mountain, but he's still called Sir Gregor? Anyway, Sir Gregor Clegane, the mountain. Mr. X. I mean, no, the zombie mountain. <laughs> A man who loves nuns? A lot of other speculations going on too about uh, the wall. The wall got destroyed at the end of the seventh season and there's a bunch of people that fell from the Night's Watch in it, but also, did Tormund survive? I don't think we saw him, I don't remember seeing him towards the end, but also, if he did survive, get that, that time out with Sweet Sweet Brienne of Tarth. There was the boat scene with Tyrion watching as John and Danny went into Danny's chambers. You know, so there's any speculation that he might come up with something to, to tear them apart? Would he let them go? Is he still gonna advise them? That, that's a little tricky, because because he definitely didn't look too happy when he saw them going into her chambers. So they definitely looked like there was something going on with that. Like I mentioned earlier with Viserion getting killed off, Danny's got two dragons left. She's got her main dragon, Drogon, the most powerful of the three, but what's left is Rhaegal. So some theories are going around, is Jon gonna ride Rhaegal? That'd be something pretty sweet, seeing uh, someone from the north, the king of the north, riding the dragon. And also one of the biggest questions is who's going to survive since this is the last season. Nobody is safe at this point. And who is actually going to sit on the throne? I think when it's all said and done, it's going to be Jon. My reason being is when we were first introduced to Jon in season one, we knew him as the bastard. The pretty much like lower than low. He was going to go off to the Night's Watch because he felt that that was pretty much his, his, his lot in life. That's what he was meant for. But then slowly, as everything progressed through the seasons, he came up in ranks in the Night's Watch. He became Lord Commander Stuart. He became Lord Commander. He eventually united the Wildlings and the Southerners that the Wildlings call them, which are actually the Northerners. But he was able to get them to fight together. He was killed and then came back. So then my theory is that when it's all said and done, the person who thought was going to be have, have no say or anything like that will end up being the one of all people to sit on the throne such so is my one prediction John will be the one actually sit on the throne not that Danny won't or she shouldn't it's just the way it seems like it's going I think it might be John and also it's called his books are called A Song of Fire and Ice as we found out from season 6 He's part Targaryen! So those are my predictions for that, at least for, for the general one. I'd like to do a couple of videos about each of the episodes as they go on up until the finale. Because Game of Thrones is very cool. It's a very good show. I'm not a... I haven't been like a solid book reader. So I'm not like one of those people that read all the books, which... I have no problem with that. If you read the books, that, that's awesome. I got friends who have done that. So I'm, I am excited to see it start up tonight, but I am sad that it's going to be ending. 
So like I said, it's premiering tonight, 9 o'clock on HBO. So I'll be there. I'm going to be right there watching it as soon as it starts up. Matter of fact, I'm going to continue watching the recap weekend, recap week that rather HBO's had where they've been doing every season every day. I'm going to watch that to get myself caught back up since it's been so long. It felt so long last year without having to watch a Thrones season during late spring last year. But I'm excited for it and hopefully I can get some more info out there and also have a good time because Thrones is back. Today is good. <laughs> so if you guys want to see some more videos hopefully that I can do for Game of Thrones, talk about different theories, have fun, discussions, whatever. If I can figure out how to do it, I'm going to put a little discussion thread on the homepage of the channel. Get a little bit of talk going and some chatter about predictions, what people think. If you think that, you know, you have a better theory than mine or a better prediction, by all means, put it down in the comments below. I'd love to see. I'd love to hear all kinds of different predictions, all kinds of different outcomes, all kinds of different what-ifs. Give me a thumbs up if you like. I appreciate that very much the most. So if you'd like to do that, give me some comments down below about what you think some of the theories might be. If you'd like to see, hopefully, some more Game of Thrones videos I can make. It won't be much right now, but hopefully we can get some discussion going. Maybe that'd be awesome if a game could come out. That would be awesome. But until then, if you like seeing the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Like that button. Hit the subscribe if you want to see some more. And until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow after the premiere. See what happened in that first episode, that first juicy episode. Until again, everybody. Take care of yourselves out there.